was the great Soren Kierkegaard who told us that life must be viewed backwards, but must be lived forward. It must be viewed backward, but live forward. He's telling us that we should live from the perspective of how would our 100-year-old self instruct and inform our current self how to act and how to behave and what to ingest because we are, after all, the outcome of what we ingest, what we think about, and what we act. That is what we become. We must do this through the action of ingesting great information. And for myself, I read between 50 and 100 books a year. I believe that it's necessary to ingest a good deal of the ancient writings, specifically a lot of the old scriptures from the Jewish, from the Hindu, from the Christian perspectives, and the ancient philosophers. So I spent about half of my reading time reading texts that were written before 500 AD. These are very, very old texts because this gives us a perspective from thousands of years of wisdom and how to live our lives. This gives us the governing philosophies, the central theories, the core theses that have lived them out. And I believe it was Epictetus that told us that the ability for us to understand philosophy only comes by looking back at history and how those philosophies turned out. So we must go back. We must go to the older texts in order to understand that. This second group, where I spend about 25% of my time, is on the texts that are written between 500 AD and 2000 AD. These are the middle term texts where there are some of the great writers like Francis Bacon, for instance, and others who tell us about how the scientific and the medieval world function, as well as how the more midterm philosophers thought about what they saw in play. This also gives us a great history about the work of evil and how we overcome evil with good. The battle between good and evil has always played out throughout humanity, but the greatest, doc the greatest documentation of that was written between 500 and 2000. And finally, you have this third group, this third group of this newer text that have been written since 2000. It's important to stay up with current events, current management styles, current trends, but we must understand this is a minority part of what's going to build us to becoming the person and the people that our organizations and our families require of us. And as we think about this word from Kierkegaard, we must look backwards before we look forwards. We must look back in order to understand the future. And if we were to live rightly, if we we're able to execute wisdom and ingest wisdom, we must be able to look at the ancients, look at the Stoics, look at the philosophers, we'll look at the world's greatest religions and infer from them and the truth of history what the course of action for our own lives should be and is to be if we were to live to the greatest fulfillment and satisfaction possible.